This little guy at the foot of the bed, watching you. <laughs> Let's see if I can drop myself. Plop, there we go, right in the bed. And then what if I, uh, this might be a little risque, but there we go. <laughs> All right, we're married. Let's paint a mental picture. Uh, okay, <laughs> I don't have eyes. Hey guys, it's Adam E.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer for the Nintendo 3DS. In a new spin on the series, we're going to be working at Nook's Homes, setting up houses for the hundreds of little critters that will soon populate our new town. We get to choose everything this time around with our villagers, including building shops on Main Street, then assigning residents jobs to keep them busy, and we'll also be working with outside decorations and different seasons for their homes, and sprucing up the insides using tons of items and furniture, both classic and fresh. And we'll be using the new Animal Crossing Amiibo cards as well to pick and choose who gets to come and visit and who is banned from ever stepping foot into our little piece of Zootopia. I'm looking at you, Jitters. Keep out! No, he's cool. <laughs> he's welcome, I guess. Anyways, let's get started. This is our new boss and overlord, Tom Nook. Today is the day our new employee arrives. Yes, yes. The new addition should be here at any moment, so I shall use this time to double-check the hiring forms. Does he always talk to himself like this? Hmm, now where have those hiring forms gotten themselves off to? I'm certain they were right here. Pardon me, L uh, Lottie, perhaps you know, do you remember the new hire's name? Hmm, what? You don't remember? Please, Mr. Nook, try to keep it together. If I recall correctly, the name was... Oh, we gotta fill in the blank, and it is Adam. There we go. This is the mayor from Goostin in New Leaf. He's just, you know, he's taking a side job. He's got a lot of bells he needs to, you know, amass to pay off his, his house loan and build that new clock or whatever. Yes, that's it. I, I'm sure of it. The new hire's name is Adam, right? Right. Honestly, Mr. Nook, you really need to keep better track of these things. He's gone a little, you know, he's, he's like getting on in the years. He's wearing that old man sweater vest, so you know he's been around for a while since the first game. Oh, I, I certainly blanked out on that name for a moment. And it's such a nice name, too. A rare moment of forgetfulness for me. I'm sure it won't happen again. Now, uh, from what I recall, this new employee happens to be a boy. Uh, but am I certain he's a boy? <laughs> I'm gonna call Professor Oak and confirm. Yes, he is. Yes, yes, he is a boy, of course. Now, if only I could remember what he looks like. Let's paint a mental picture. Uh, okay, <laughs> I don't have eyes. Let's quickly remedy that. So we got a lot of eye choices here. Some of them a little weirder than others. <laughs> it just looks like he's spacing out with these ones. I kind of like the uh, the little rounded villager eyes. These ones are good. And then we'll change the eye color. I've got kind of green eyes in real life, so we'll do that. Very pale, like a gamer. No, <laughs> a lot of gamers get outside, so I shouldn't make that assumption. You gotta get outside to get those street passes, but I'm gonna go very pale. And we've got all these haircuts to choose from. This is kind of cool that we get to pick all of this stuff right off the bat. And, uh, and look at all this here, lots of options. This was my haircut I used in New Leaf, this one right here. But uh, I don't know if I want to stick with that. I kinda, I gotta be more professional. Look at me, I'm a salary man now. I've got a suit. I'm gonna go with the, uh, the little hair doll up there. And I think that brown is actually a good color for me. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll just show you guys the other colors though, of course. And if you want to see the rest of the hairstyles, I'm gonna kinda click through them really quick here. Give them a good color. Yeah, there's lots to choose from. So far, it doesn't look like we can use any of the lady styles, but I think there's a machine in the Nook's office that you can use to style your hair if you want to change it later. All right, here we go. That's what I want. Looks good to me, very professional. Of course, this is what he looks like, yes? I've been dreaming about him ever since he was hired. There he goes. All right, he's so happy to be under his new <laughs> master, Tom, Tom Nook here. Ah, I remember him perfectly now. There's no forgetting a person like Adam. Yep, yep. All right, he always repeats things. Same with uh, Timmy and, and Tommy. All right, ah, good morning, Adam. Welcome to Nook Sums. I was just, you know, talking about you blankly as you walked in. Sorry about that. Come in, allow me to introduce you to everyone. Yes, yes. Yeah, Tom Nook's been around for a while. He's not mostly naked anymore. He's got his sweater on. He's been, you know, other games too, not just Animal Crossing. Everyone, this is Adam. Starting today, he'll be working with us here at Nook's Homes. I was just remembering that Nook is in Smash Brothers. He's the villager Final Smash. He builds a crazy home and then explodes it to kill people. Perhaps I should give you a quick introduction to each of your new colleagues, hmm? This fellow here is Lyle. See if you can remember his voice. It's been a while. Bang! Nice to meet you, Adam. <laughs> He's a straight shooter. Lyle is something of a veteran in the office. He's been here almost as long as I have. In fact, he's so good at what he does, even I don't quite understand what he's doing most of the time. But I pay him anyways. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh. I'm kidding, of course, I know how everything works. I'm omniscient. 
Next is our dog about town, Digby. Mm, nice to meet you. My name's Digby. Uh, it's a real pleasure to have you working with us, uh, Adam. I guess we'll get a chance to work together on a project really soon. Look at Lottie over there. Ooh la la. She's in love. Digby is certainly one of our most enthusiastic employees, as you may have gathered. Uh, finally, let me introduce Lottie. <clears throat> Lottie? <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, hi there. <laughs> She's a little distracted. Lottie is an exceptional employee and is a consummate professional. She's also an expert in home design. Lottie will be handling your training as well, so pay attention and follow her advice. As you all know, I'm a very busy raccoon. So busy that I forgot I'm actually a raccoon dog. So that wraps up today's meeting. Lottie, he's all yours. Goodbye, my obedient employees. See, he's feeding into the, uh, <laughs> the whole thing of enslaving his employees, too, and people who take loans. Uh, busy, busy. Oh, so busy. Forever alone. All right. <laughs> let's, uh, let's let him get out of here. He's just heading out. That boss of ours, he likes to complain about his busy schedule, even though we all know he's just rushing off to make his tea time. Ha. Well, enough about golf. Let's get you settled in. We're all so glad you joined the company, Adam. I'm sure you can't wait to hear about the work you'll be doing at Nook's home, so let's get to it. To start, I want you to do a simple interior remodel on a client's home. You'll pick out new wallpaper, a new carpet, some new furniture. Basically, you're going to give the room a complete makeover. There's a practice room all ready for you. I'll come along and teach you the basics. But before we get started, you should take this. A gun. It gets, <laughs> it gets pretty <laughs> dicey out there on the streets of our new town. There's a changing room upstairs, so head on up and change into your official uniform, Adam. I'll be waiting right here. Come and get me when you're ready. Okay, so I've got this very professional suit on. I can run indoors, which is always nice. Keeping off the grass. But uh, this is just for my interview. I was already hired. I gotta put on their literal little blazer. Uh, don't want to keep those teammates waiting, right, sport? Uh, head in the changing room on the second floor and put on your uniform. Make it snappy. Bang. All right, let's see what Digby's up to. Uh, I look forward to working with you, Adam. Uh, I do a lot of field work, so we probably won't see each other much during the day. But if you're stuck on anything, don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> Getting up in my face. All right, got some nice desks here. The copier. Oh, it's... Okay, I didn't mean to copy that. Sorry. I was just trying to change the toner or something. Got some... They always have those pots in here. I don't know why everyone in Animal Crossing loves those little pots. They're kind of nice looking, though. We got an umbrella rack. Golf clubs. Nook forgot his clubs. Oh, so here we go. Yeah, if I sit in this, probably can't do this right now, but not sure how this works. Yeah, we need Harriet over here from Shampoodle to help us with that. Oh, looks like someone's in the middle of playing. Let's leave it for a moment. What game are they playing? I can't really tell. It's uh, it's probably Animal Crossing, but they have a giant 3DS. I didn't realize the XL was that big and don't know how to use this. <laughs> a giant sewing machine. We'll learn all this as we go. There's lockers here as well. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. <laughs> okay, this is a little creepier than I was expecting for our first start in Animal Crossing. All right, there we go. So that's how we change our clothes. And there's a lot of options for customizing, not just the houses, but the characters as well. We can put clothes on the little villagers. Lots of cool stuff, as you guys will soon see. So here we go, our first foray out into our new town. And I need to ask you guys, the town, we don't actually get to name it, but I want to name this place regardless, so let me know. I've got a few suggestions. Do you want it to be called Wingapore, Chicago, Chicago, or <laughs> Yolkio? Those, or you could suggest another name. Those are the ones that I came up with, and if you have a suggestion, in the, you can leave it in the comments. Whatever one is most popular, I'll go with. But I kind of want this new town to have a new name, of course. Hey there, Tiger. <laughs> what do you think you're going? Uh, come over here for a second. Oh, I forgot to talk to Lottie before we left. We're looking like a part of the team. A perfect fit. Mr. Nook likes to see his employees wear the company uniform, so make sure you wear it tomorrow, too. Of course, you can accessorize your uniform however you'd like. Use the changing room for that. Are you ready to learn all about interior design? Great, let's go. All right. Aw, she can make weird bubbles pop out of her ears. And Digby clapped for her, so maybe he's into her. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so we got our own box. <laughs> all right, your training is officially underway. By the way, this is a real home you're working on, so take good care of this place. Don't go, you know, taking a <laughs> dump in the corner or something. The client who lives there is a girl who's a fan of all things cute. She's requested a room with a lovely atmosphere. So let's turn this empty space into something lovely, shall we? First, let's see what's inside that cardboard box over there. To open it, just tap the rectangular block on the touchscreen. So this is a big innovation in this game. Now we can actually design using the touchpad. We don't have to throw leaves around like some type of lowly yokai. Good job! Uh, that lovely love seat is actually one of the client's most prized possessions. You'll find clients often have pieces they're very attached to. They love it when you incorporate their pieces into your design, so be sure to do so. Of course, 
You can't just plop furniture down in any old way and expect that to work. So let me explain how to change a piece of furniture's orientation. To do that, you tap the block on the touch screen, just like you did before. Go ahead and give it a try. So we can kind of flip it around. So much easier than throwing it and dragging it around, scraping up your floors. Great, you're a fast learner. I like that. Next up, let's talk about how to move things. It's a cinch. Just drag the block and the touchscreen to wherever you want to place it. It's time for your first big decision. Where do you want to put that lovely love seat? So we have magic now, apparently. And uh, we can hear a UFO <laughs> as we move this. Let's put it under the window. Get some nice sun in your hair. Color it before the, the summer's over. Yes, just like that. Now you know how to place and orient furniture like a pro. Which you are, of course. But this room is going to need more than a single love seat before we can call it done. Tap the little leaf thing on the touchscreen to open the furniture catalog and select more items. Find a piece of furniture you like, tap it to select it, and then put it someplace. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Alright, so what do we got? We got a bed. Lots of lovely stuff here. This is, uh, ooh, some plants. What is that? I should have looked at the name. Is she an architect? There you go! <laughs> and that's how you block the doorway. Uh, that's how you choose furniture to suit your client's taste. But furniture isn't the only tool in your home designer's toolkit. Wall decorations are also important. Explore your options with the little picture thing and pick out something snazzy. All right, let me move, can I move that around or get rid of it? It's a drafting table for like an architect. How do we get rid of stuff? I wonder if we can, oh, I put another one. If I drop it out of here, oh no, this is a disaster already. We'll figure out how to get rid of these. She's got two drafting tables. She works on a lot of projects, don't judge her. All right, so we got a clock. There we go, a bold choice, I like it. A clock over her tables <laughs> that she can't reach. It's amazing for me to see how different designers have such different senses of style. Oh, I almost, almost forgot about wallpaper and flooring. Those are two crucial elements of home design. Open the wallpaper and flooring catalog with a little pink home and choose something you like. Once you make your choice, press B or tap the little back thing on the top right of the screen to close the catalog. All right, so let's grab some, uh, oop, I didn't mean to do that. There's also some pictures and stuff. That looks like, I think that's a Van Gogh, the little one with the, uh, with the, <laughs> the sunflowers or whatever. All right, floors, we can do that. That looks pretty. I'm gonna go with the atypical birch flooring. Pretty good, goes pretty well there. Look at that. Do you see how you can change the room's atmosphere by changing the dirty walls and floors? Uh, let's place a rug to complete the room's design. It's like the cherry on top of the sundae. Tap the rug to open the catalog. Oh no, I'm worried I'm not going to be able to get rid of, uh, <laughs> got the right size and style for a vision. I'm worried I'm not going to be able to get rid of these, uh, these little things here. Kind of drag that clock around into a better spot. Can I, I can move during this too, so I don't have to be standing here. How do I get rid of this thing? It just bumped me out of the way. Whoa! I can pick myself up! <laughs> I'm flying! <laughs> Alright. And drop myself right on the couch. That's the best place to drop yourself so you don't hurt your little rumpkin. All right, and we can turn the lights off, make it creepy in here. All right, we're not gonna do that. I gotta figure out how to get rid of this stuff later, but for now, she's got two drafting tables, and that's okay with me. She's got one for, uh, you know, each corner of the house so that she can design from different areas. All right, let's put this rug. Stop worrying about that. We're gonna drop a large heart rug. Whoa, it's huge, jeez. <laughs> you, my dear, are a natural at home design. Amazing. Now. It, to round out the training, why don't you go ahead and place any furniture you like? Feel free to take another look at the client's request whenever you want by tapping that little chart on the touch screen. Also, if you ever want to get rid of furniture you've already placed, just drag the items to the trash can. There we go. Let's throw these things away. Oh, there's one more thing. You can use the control pad to change your point of view and look around the room. I'm sure you'll get some new ideas when you change your perspective, so try different angles. All right, Adam, now you can go about designing the room however you like. I'll play the part of the client here, so come and talk to me when you think you're done. Okay, I'll be waiting. Let's turn the lights back on. And now we can kind of get down to uh, the nitty gritty here. All right, get rid of these. She could, you know, maybe she should have one. I've kind of gotten attached to those little, little uh, <laughs> architectures drafting boards. Let's put a nice picture on the wall and drag. See how much faster this is? This would take like hours trying to reorganize this stuff if you were, uh, you know, just playing a normal Animal Crossing game. But this is a good innovation. They've changed a lot of things in the game. And there are some features that aren't included in this one that a lot of people are probably going to miss, but I kind of like this as a nice way to innovate the series in the meantime before we get another big console version of the game. All right, we got enough wall decorations. How about a nice plant? This is a uh, Porth Porthos. That one looks nice. Lottie seemed to like that. And uh, what else do we have here? We got to have some some nice bedding or something. She needs a bed. She can't just you know sit on the ground or her couch. Oh, we have gyroids. 
And these ones look perfect too. What are they? A warbloid? Is that what that said? Let me see. Yep, it says when I click it. Warbloid. He's gonna be right in the center of the room to scream while you try to sleep. And then, oh, we could put a painting on a stand. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, cool. So if I move my little cursor, you guys can see it on the top screen as well. But yeah, it's on the bottom screen there too. Let's grab this bed. I keep trying to drag them onto the thing, but we just tap it and it plops it down. And then we move it around and tap it to orient it. There you go. This little guy at the foot of the bed watching you. <laughs> Let's see if I can drop myself. Bloop, there we go, right in the bed. And then what if I, uh, this might be a little risque, but there we go. <laughs> All right, we're married. In some cultures, we are now married. What else we got here? A nice little, oh, the marshmallow. I think this is supposed to be like mochi, but it looks pretty cool. It's a little squishy chair. I'm gonna plop myself on there while we're messing around with stuff. A few more things and we'll finish up this one. How about, she's gotta have a wardrobe to you know, store her tons and tons of items that she'll amass playing this game as the villagers just give you their reject clothing and <laughs> things. We can flip this heart around so it kind of looks like a peach or a little bottom. There we go, all right, that's good. And then maybe one or two more things. She can have a computer or a little magazine rack. She's gotta have a light so that she can control that. Throw that over, oop, wrong. That'll be for the corner so that she can do that. And grab this one, there we go. Put the light by the door. And then last but not least, the piece de resistance, a home computer rack. There we go, put that under the window so she'll at least pretend like she's going out in the world when she's on the computer for hours. Okay, looks good. Lottie, <laughs> you, awake? you awake, Lottie? We gotta take her off of there. I like that you can move people around though, that's pretty cool. And we can add in villagers to these houses pretty easily too with those amiibo cards, which we'll try to do next time. Oh, are, are you done already? All done. Looks pretty good. I don't know how much we have to fill this thing out, but looks good to me. Excellent, it seems you've done a fair decent job. Uh, let's take a closer look, shall we? Fairly decent. All right, so we're gonna be judged here harshly on our designs. An utterly charming room. Hopefully, lifestyles of the pink and creepy. <laughs> Cause that warbloid definitely creeped me out. Pretty good, what do you think? Oh, we can take photos too, just by clicking. Oh, okay, oh, oh okay, there we go. Nice little one to commemorate our first house design. Looks good to me. Okay, what do you guys think? Hopefully, <laughs> it's pretty good. This is just our first one. Oh wow, look at this place. I can't believe I get to live in such a lovely room. What is this? Work using me is like a, <laughs> this is like pro bono work. I'm not getting paid for this probably. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, did I forget to mention that this is actually my house? I just bought the place, but work has kept me so busy that I haven't had time to decorate. So I used your magical powers to, to clean things up for me. To tell you the truth, I've been cuddling up in a sleeping bag on the bare floor. Ridiculous, right? But it looks like a little help from a promising new designer was just what it needed. And I'll be sure to let the boss know you passed your training with flying colors. Now then, I think it's time we head back to the office. Let's go. Well, she scammed me, but I put a warbloid under her bed to, uh, to watch her sleep, so we're even. All right, Lottie. <laughs> be honest, did you love your first day on the job? You really did well, so I bet you loved it. But you can be upfront with me if you didn't love the job. What I want to know is, can you handle it? I was born to do this. Well, if you say, honestly, it's not my thing, she'll probably be like, mm, you could, you'll warm up to it. She just turns the game off if it's not your thing. <laughs> just as I thought, you really are the right person for the job. I'm glad to hear you think so too. As a matter of fact, I was really impressed with the room you decorated for me today. We guarantee satisfaction here at Nook Homes. So I had to make sure you were up to snuff. In a perfect world, I'd have a few more months to train you properly, but I can't hold you back forever. We have a client scheduled to come in tomorrow morning to talk about interior remodel requests. I'm gonna let you take that on as your first real customer job. And you've got a big day tomorrow, so you can head home, but you have to write a daily report first. Let me show you to your desk. It's right over here in the corner with the smelly plant that no one wants to be near. All right, your desk and chair are back here on the left, so take a seat and write your daily report. You need to write up a report every day when you're finished with your work. It's the little details like this that keep Nook's homes running like a well-oiled machine. Chug chug. Thanks for all your hard work today, Tiger. Keep it up. All right, so we're learning. A daily report is probably how, yep, we save the day. And business hours are over, but you can keep playing or working. So yeah, days are not like in old Animal Crossing days in this, you can play as long as you want. You'll just move on to the next day. You design a home each day. So where does, okay, Lottie's probably here making copies. And then Nook is there, obviously. Where is Lyle and Digby hang out? Where do you guys even, do you sleep here? 
Congratulations on completing your training, Adam. Did I correctly overhear what Lottie was saying? You officially start work tomorrow? It's quite an accomplishment. I wish you luck. All right, let's save and uh, and see what happens here. Write your daily report. <laughs> it's gonna. They think I'm working, but I'm just scribbling on the on the paper there. All right, we're saving. So yeah, if you guys want to leave a comment, I mentioned it briefly, but a few names are uh, Wingapore, Chicago, and Yokio are the three I came up with. But if you got some other ones, I want to pick a good name for this town before we get too deep into the game. And hopefully you'll fit something with the bird theme. Is kind of what I'm going for. We had Birdburg in City Folk, and then we also had uh, Gustin in New Leaf. So kind of keeping the, con the tradition alive. All right, we're going to share a gameplay with Nintendo, I guess. So they can kind of... You can do a lot of stuff online with this game where you can judge other people's homes and have them check yours out as well. Thank you. You have set the game to send gameplay out. This isn't a character. I don't have to do a voice. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of characters in here, so hopefully you guys are okay with me doing a lot of weird voices and trying my best to give them all unique ones. Oh, we get a compact car. Sweet. Is that what that thing is over there? Continue with the game. I think we're going to quit out, though, for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to leave a like, we will continue on tomorrow with more Happy Home Designer. Thanks again for hanging out, and we'll see you next time for more Animal Crossing. Goodbye.